What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Neg Entropy Chronicles. Now we got Fresh and Fit versus Brittany Renner. And really, the only reason I'm doing this video is so we can actually look at the context of the conversation and not focus on, on oh, this person got one over the other. It's who's actually having the debate, who's actually having an intellectual conversation versus who's deflecting and not addressing the actual issue. So let's not waste more time and get into it, all right? Fresh great idea was don't tell Myra until today. <laughs> so we walk in, you first see Brittany Renner. Uh -huh. and Hold on real quick. I didn't mean to pause it, but... Fresh is going to get Myron into some real problems. Like, Fresh doesn't think these things through. Why would you last second him with Brittany Renner after he has said things about her? I'm telling you, dude, dude is a problematic dude, for real. And we're like, we're thinking you're probably going to be like, okay, shit, we're going to have this great debate. But you mm -hmm. said you said it initially, like, I don't think there's much to really, like, debate. Why? Well, I mean, <laughs> we, here's the thing. We've always said it, like, men and women were very different we have opposing goals like girls are trying to you know get resources time attention out of guys guys are trying to get sex and girls a lot of the time are trying to get what they need to get out of dudes without necessarily giving it up and some girls are good at it, some girls aren't and then there's other girls that are kind of models for that that are good at finessing dudes and not to say that you're a finesser i ain't saying that but girls are able to you know run laps around a lot of guys and that's why our podcast exists to help dudes out to understand like how women operate and how they move now i want y'all to peep something she's already laughing because and even said i'm not saying that you're a finesser but see she's heard that she's finessed uh pj washington enough to where it's a trigger word for her so i wanted y'all to peep game on that now so, you have a different point of view wait wait wait. where do you think she fits in that because you know i i, I think her point of view would be diametrically opposed to you guys by saying well well I'm not the, the exact typical person who you may think dudes are running into or you're trying to tell people to stay away from. I mean, well, sure, she could tell, she was saying that we're wrong, I guess, about that. Well, so I you want, tell us a little bit about yourself. Then. No, I think you know more about me than I do myself. So you're oh, saying, no, no obviously, right. obviously you do though, because you said that you warn guys about girls like me. So tell me about girls like me. Just Humor women me. in general, like I mean. Well, no, a, but no, don't women in general, because you literally specifically said before we got on here this was an -camera that you, yeah, you did say that That's true. you warn guys about girls like me. So now that we're face to face, what kind of girl am I? You're not special. You're like other girls. That's the key. I'm not special. <laughs> like, so, you're like other women that are. So like, what makes you special then? I never said I was, but you're trying to say, well, what makes me different from like a lot of women operate the way you do? Which and is, how do I operate? In general, what I just said before, women, it's a dance between the two genders. Men are trying to get sex. Women are trying to get resources, time, attention, whatever it is that they're looking for. And a lot of girls play the game better than guys. We talk about this openly on our podcast, and we're teaching guys how to not necessarily get finesse and get what they want out of girls, which a lot of the times is intimacy, but they're not able to get it. But girls are easily able to obtain money, time, resource, attention, whatever it is. Girls are running laps around dudes, which yeah. is why podcasts like ours exist. Now great answer great response because if you look he asked her a question first well you said we've gotten it wrong so tell us about who you actually are she instantly deflected and brought the question back to him to make him answer tell me about me so he went to the general said you're not special why because you function just like these other women function who are trying to look for resources out of men whatever regardless of what type of resource they're looking for something from men boom so he answered her question clear cut concise no energy just boom do, do, do you believe that Brittany has been effective in extracting as you say time resources and other things out of dudes yes she brags about it wrote yeah a book about to a degree it. sure yeah she wrote I mean, a book like, about it a lot of girls want to do i mean it, well here's the thing you've been so adamant about me being incorrect and I, I i don't know and you don't know me and all this other stuff tell me then maybe maybe we're off who knows well Second i time. think First of all, let's bring it back a couple notches. First off, he asked her a second time and she's already trying to deflect, which shows this is not an actual conversation. She wants to control how it goes because that's a pretty direct question. You said, I said these things, I'm wrong. Tell me how I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's really a lot to unpack here because my first question to you is, what do you gain from telling girls that they're not special? How does that make you feel? 
I mean, I know are everything. Talking, is, I know we, everything is a joke, but I'm asking you a real question. So, how does that make you feel? Because if I say you're a bitch ass nigga, that does something for me, right? If I insult you, or if I tell you you're not special, you're forgettable. What does that do I for me? Mic, no, man. but that doesn't. Really but that's what I'm saying. Off, like, no, but I'm. But I'm saying, what if I call you? If I just say that. Again, you're forgettable. That's why I didn't want to do you guys' podcast. Forgettable. Hate the setup. Uh, the name is underwhelming. I didn't really see the value in it. Right? Yeah. No, that's, that's how fine. I feel. Right. But so that's fine. But for me, that's okay if it wasn't a fit for me. But I also don't need to, you know, in a way kind of try to devalue what you guys have going on. Because at the end of the day, I may not agree with anything you guys talk about. Because honestly, I feel like when you've seen two or three videos, you've seen them all. But the reality is is that I went to your guys' page and I went to the different links and the different services and the courses that you guys offer. And I do see that there's a place for that. So even though it may not have been in alignment with what I am about, I can still give credit where it's due without trying to devalue you guys because you guys are doing something special, right? Now, let's do the whole thing right there. Why does she have to call them the BAN? Which she actually did. I don't want nobody trying to say, oh, no, she didn't. She said, what if I call you that? She said, what if I think about it in context of communication? If you're going to have a conversation with somebody, you don't actually have to say the word. She was like, what if I called you out of your name? But she wanted to say that to him because she was already emotional and in her heart because he said you're not special. Then she wanted to demean the show. I'm not trying to devalue you, but you are devaluing them by what you're saying about shows we names black lust or whatever verbiage she was using she's going after the, everything that she could in these moments to say you know but somewhere you're special no cut the cut the lines of communication she's good at deflecting and she's good at throwing jabs without it coming off as harsh like a man wouldn't say that to another dude without understanding that there's a level of threat behind it but she's able to do that because she's a female and use the guise of, oh, I'm just presenting examples. But she still hasn't answered his initial question. She's more focused on the not being special part. Because you guys are, I mean, is every, are there a lot of other people doing what you do? You could consider your guys' podcast special, right? I, I think what she's mentioned is like the self, self-help self portion for dudes where you guys offer services to, you know, help guys, you know, either attract or, or you know, try to talk to women and, and really engage with them at a higher rate that you could, you know, potentially date them, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 guess, I guess the point that I think she's disagreeing with, right? When... I'm and simply asking her to tell us about herself because we were so incorrect. So tell us about yourself. That's all I'm saying. And then she well, went I, into attacking us. And no, no one's attacking that. you. Because like I said, I never listen. There's a lot of people that will not sit down and have a conversation with you just because of the comments that you guys made. Well, you made. And well, you chimed in. So you guys are tweedly and tweedled down kind of right. So I'm scared to have a conversation <laughs> with you guys. Because for me, I feel like what a lot of male dominated podcasts are missing is the bridge of understanding. So I came here not to argue you guys or to call you out of your name or to disrespect what anybody's doing because I, I felt like the interview I had with him. But that's incorrect again. If you go back and look, how many times she insult him? She just called him Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Like, these are not <laughs> cool things to say about somebody. But I'm, I came on here not to do this, but you're doing it anyways. Why? Because you're already in your emotions. There were things that he said I didn't agree with, but I wanted to sit down and hear his point of view. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So for you to say you're not special, well, I'm special to someone, just like you're special to someone, just like he's special to someone. So for you trying to generalize all groups of women, then we would have to take it back to where this even began. Like why you even have this view of women. And every, like I said, you have a bunch of dumbass bitches on your guys' podcast and I get it, they don't challenge you. And I know you're a really smart guy, but it's like, I feel like you need to kind of just be honest and show people who you really are. Like, I know that for people to be dragging you guys and say, take this little clip and say, that's who you are, that's not true. So that's why I sat down and had this conversation. I'm not here to to degrade you. But you've done it. So when you make comments, let me say, but I'm saying when you make comments like, Oh, yeah, no women are special. So no woman is special, but yet you guys have a whole podcast dedicated how to get women just for sex. That's all you guys are. So you're saying men are just limited to just sex. That's all they care about is sex. Yes or no? That's all you guys care about. There's no emotional need. It's just my dick come sex. I want a hole. 
Wow, you are triggered, man. Wow. Uh, <laughs> really she wanted a whole no, rant right I, there. Honestly, it's just I speak with conviction. Ah, so, yeah, I, mean, I speak with conviction. I was remembering that part. That's not speaking with conviction. You are actually emotional. You're triggered because anybody who's seen you just have a normal conversation, i.e. when she talked to Kevin Samuels, demeanor was completely different. She doesn't like them. And she doesn't like the fact that she was told she wasn't special. And that is what is getting under her skin. But when you're talking about in the context of dating, when you're looking at certain parameters of what people are wanting from each other, there's no differences. If he says, I don't date women like her, what is he talking about? A woman that flaunts her body online, who brags about single motherhood, who brags about if you want to come make a come up, mess with a dude who's an athlete because they're dumb. Like, why would you want to mess with a female like that? Why would you want to deal with a per or a person who writes a book about their escapades with athletes, actors, whoever she's dealt with? You see what I'm saying? So that's a valid point like don't mess with this type of individual you don't want to mess with a woman like that i mean for you to say girls like me i'm just like okay well i'm assuming if i go off of what people have said about me i'm a gold digger who finessed my boyfriend who i lived with and wanted to marry me and still wants to have would want to have more kids with me if i wanted to stay with him i finessed him and I guess I'm a gold digger. And so all, all girls right, like that. Let's bring this that. back full circle because you're speaking with a lot of emotion right now. And to be honest, you're not really making a point. I said at the top, men and women, it's a delicate dance between the two genders to get what they want. Correct? I said men want sex. Women want resources, attention, uh, money, time, whatever it is from men. It, it changes per girl. Some girls want money. Some girls want attention. Some girls want time. Well, some girls want a hot guy, whatever it is. But there's a multivariate requirement from women of what they want in men. Men, typically, it's just sex. So in that regards of intersexual dynamics between men and women, I'm saying you're not special because you're like every other girl. You want to get resource, time, attention, or whatever it may be, commitment from a man, and a man wants to get sex from you. So when it comes to that, we're talking about biology of what men want from women. You are not special. You are just like every other girl, just like I'm every other guy. The difference is this. I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm special. I'm Aaron Gaines. I can do this and that. We 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 said all the time, city boys up, but like we don't sit here and try to make ourselves look special. We're regular guys. We want sex. It is what it is. But women run around and say, "I'm special. I'm, I'm different." I'm oh, da, da, da. It's like, nah, bro. Y'all don't live in reality. A lot of times, you guys say, "I deserve that. I deserve this. I'm special." Someone looks at me as special, like, bro. At the end of the day, you're a woman. I'm a guy. You are playing the game to get what you want out of the relationship. I'm playing the game to get what I want out of the relationship. Or temporary relationship, whatever it is. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm special. That's what I'm talking about. You can say you're special in other regards, but I'm talking about between men and women. That is the game. That's how it is. No, hold on. Now, as far as the conversation went, that was gold. He really kept it on point. He had to actually redirect her back to what the entire context of the special had to break down from. Because as you see, she kept going, 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 going. And when you have a conversation with somebody, and there's a topic to be started with, you keep those people on that topic. You do not allow them to deviate, deflect, jump off the board, because if they want to keep doing that, then in the conversation, there's no point in having it anymore. Because if you're trying to get to a solution and a person doesn't want to, and they want to keep going this direction and you're trying to go this way, stop talking to them. Because as he said, there's no point in having a debate because what is the debate really about with this said individual? None. Because you're a woman who has pretty much placed your position online. Yes, everybody is special to somebody. Your mama, your daddy, your grandparents, your, your siblings, your kids might think you're special, whatever. But on the regular dating market, we're all even on some level. There's no differences in, in depending on what you got until they get to really know you and it's based on your personality. But when you're starting off in the dating world, everybody's equal until you open your mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you may be ugly to somebody, but then most beautiful person to the next person. It is just how it goes. And for her to not actually answer any question that he asked, throw insults out and not actually stay on top of, oh, well, I'm special. I'm special to somebody. Of course. Yes. But he addressed everything. So when you look at the conversation as it goes, they he stayed on point. He stayed poised. He never got emotional. While she showed her emotion, started rambling off, 
And when you look at a conversation like that, as far as intellectually, she lost. A lot of people are going to say, oh, man, she killed him because they're listening to the insults. They think that's what's winning. That's not winning. You're just proving that you don't have a larger vocabulary in order to have a normal conversation without throwing insults, jabs, things like that. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments section. Be on the lookout for more videos and like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, everybody. Peace.